Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I hope that you guys are having an amazing day today. In today's video, I am going to show you the entire Tinkerbell collection from Colourpop. I am going to show you live eye swatches of the entire palette. I will also be showing you live swatches on my eyes of the Super Shock Shadows and of the gel eyeliners. You guys will also get to see live swatches of all of the blushes, the highlighter, the lip stains, and pretty much everything in the collection. I am going to swatch live on my face. <laughs> one way or another wherever it belongs my lips my cheeks my eyes you guys will get to see all of that and because i did decide to do live eye swatches of everything instead of arm swatches instead of doing three eyeshadow looks in today's video i am going to show you two eyeshadow looks plus all of the live eye swatches so i hope you guys don't mind and yeah if you guys are interested in seeing all of that then just keep on watching so i'm gonna prime my eyes but really quickly i just want to apologize because the puppy is eating a bone in the background and she is so loud so i am so sorry if you guys can hear her anyway i am taking the p louise eyeshadow base in the shade 2.0 to prime my eyes and then i figured i would show you this since i never do i am taking a small beauty sponge to set the primer in place and this just really helps to have everything nice and even for when we apply eyeshadow next i am taking the matte darkest green from the palette and i'm actually using a new brush you guys i always use the same jaclyn hill morphe brush to pack eyeshadow but this time i actually ordered the new morphe makeup by ariel brushes so i'm using these and i have to say they're actually amazing anyway i'm also going to be talking a little bit louder in this video to try to drown out the sound that the my, blah, blah, i can't even talk that my puppy is making i cannot even concentrate today so i do apologize but anyway i am taking this shade and this small pencil brush and i am packing the color on the outer corner corner inner corner and into the crease once the color is packed i am going to take the same brush and very lightly soften the edges moving on i am taking the lighter matte green and using the morphe jaclyn hill pencil brush i am going to start blending this color right up above the previous shade And as you guys know, we always lose a lot of pigment while blending, so I am now going to retrace my steps and repeat the first two steps again. So I'm going back to the dark green and adding more of that, basically packing it and blending as I pack. And then I'm going back to the lighter green and repeating the same steps until I'm happy with the blend and the pigmentation. Next, I am taking my micellar water and a Q-tip to clean off the outer edge and make it nice and sharp. And then I am taking my Fenty Beauty concealer and just making sure that it's nice and clean around, you know, around the area. Moving on to cut the crease, I'm taking the P. Louise eyeshadow base in the shade 0 0.5 this time and I always like to put the base on my lid and then open my eye and then wherever that transfers is what I'm going to use as a guide to cut the crease. For the center, I am going back to the dark green and adding it to the edges of the cut crease. Since we are going to create a gradient, I am then going back to the lighter green and adding that right next to the dark green. You guys, I am so sorry. The puppy is being so loud, but I swear I have no other time to do this. I have like four videos that I'm almost close to editing and... Ugh. I work during the week, so it's like insane. Today's Sunday. Anyway, okay, I'm going back to the center. I am taking the shimmery green and adding it right to the center of the cut crease. Then I am going with the uh, super shock shimmer shadow and applying it 
over top of the shimmery shade with my finger i'm not giving you guys the middle finger it's just the easiest finger that you know works for me to apply uh, when i use my finger for the inner corner i'm going to the lighter shimmery green and applying that to the inner corner for the lower lash line i am taking the matte dark green and applying it all the way down there i'm so sorry this video is a mess i'm trying to rush through it because she's finally being quiet and then to blend out the lower lash line i am taking the lighter green this is such a mess i am so sorry moving on i am taking the green gel eyeliner from the collection but as you guys can see it was very very light and i felt like black would look a lot better so i did go over it using makeup forever's black eyeliner pencil for mascara i am using a brand new one from lancome and i have to say i actually really do like it and i've been using it every single day this week and for eyelashes i am using a glam lights Michaela's eyelashes and that is it this is the completed first eyeshadow look i hope that you guys like it and let's move on to the second one Okay, moving on to the second eyeshadow look. I think the puppy finally calmed down. Please pray for me. Oh no, she's coming this way. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to prime my eyes using the same P. Louise eyeshadow base in the shade 2.0 and using the beauty sponge to set it in place. For the first shade, I am taking uh, this beautiful brown color and using the Jaclyn Hill Morphe pencil brush i am going to pack this color into the crease inner corner and outer corners once i have the placement that i want from like the packing of the color i don't know if that made sense or not i am going to use the same brush to blend the edges moving on for my transition color i am taking this lighter beige color and using a blending brush i'm just applying it over the previous shade and blending next for the center i am taking this shimmery brown and just applying it with a flat brush and to make that color stand out a little bit more i am going in with the super shock shadow and applying it right over that previous shade with my finger and as you guys can see it makes it really glittery and just that much more beautiful i am then taking my too faced better than s liquid eyeliner and creating a winged liner and I am also creating a cat eye on the inner corner. I tried to show you guys the process, but it's really, really hard for me to film it for the camera without looking super weird and in just awkward positions. Um, next, I am taking the brown gel eyeliner from the collection and applying it to the waterline. For the lower lash line, I am taking the dark shimmery green. And for mascara, I am using the same Lancome mascara that we used in the previous look for lashes I am using Dove lashes in the style date night and that is it this is the completed second eyeshadow look I hope that you guys like it and now let's move on to swatching the rest of the collection all right so those were the eyeshadow looks i am now going to show you swatches of the super cheek super shock cheek 
little things right here um so there is three of them in the bundle two of them look like blushes they are the this color and then the other one is a highlighter so i'm gonna do these first as a blush and then a little bit later on you guys will get to see these swatched on the eye as well because i do feel like you can use these for your cheeks your lips or your eye you guys will see they look beautiful on the eye actually i was really impressed um but anyway so i'm gonna go ahead and start off with magic moon which is this guy right here so I am going to use a blush brush and I'm just lightly dipping it right into the little tub and I'm going to apply it as blush. Oh, that's really pretty. Can you guys see it? Oh, that's gorgeous. It's very light, this color, like very, very light, but very beautiful it's subtle and yes i actually love this color i didn't think i was gonna like them because i thought they were gonna be a little bit too shimmery but i have to say it's almost like magical okay so that is the magic moon shade and now i'm gonna move on to the other side and we're gonna swatch darling which is the one that is almost more like bronzy i would say all right let's see oh there it is can you guys see it i can see it they are very shimmery you guys see that so i actually really like this color as well this one is definitely more on the bronzy orangey side um, I didn't think I was gonna like how they are both shimmery, but I do have to say they do give you like this really healthy glow. So I am not mad at this. Okay, so here is this one, which is Darling. You guys can see it right there. And then Magic Moon on this side. Ooh, I put, this one is uh, a lot more pigmented. Uh, they're both really pretty. I think I went a little bit too heavy-handed on this one because the lighting, um, when I turned my head this way, it didn't look like anything was actually going on. But now that I turn this way, like I definitely went in very heavy-handed on this side. Um, but yeah, they're both really, really beautiful. Um, let me try to make my cheeks even and i will be right back okay all right there there we go there we go okay we're matching so now we're gonna move on to the last super shock cheek little tub which is the one that looks like a highlighter so i guess i'm gonna apply that one um as a highlighter so this one is happy thoughts all right, so I'm just going to take a highlighter brush and just apply it as highlighter. And, ooh, ooh. Okay. Oh my gosh, that is gorgeous. Okay, I was not expecting it to be this intense. Okay, this is gorgeous. All right, so here is the highlighter and I was not expecting it to be like this intense, but I am very happy with the way it looks. I mean, look at that. It is like, yeah, that is intense. It is gorgeous. And should I dare say again, magical? It's really nice. Okay. So I'm going to move on to swatching the lip stains and I'm going to start off with Clap If You Believe.
okay so here is clap if you believe it is a lip stain so i'm trying to just set it i can feel it drying because it looks like a lip gloss at first but eventually it does dry to look uh, like a lip stain and it doesn't end up being like as pigmented as it originally is when you apply it by the way you guys bear with me because this is the first time that i'm doing my lips uh with them back to being my natural like lips <laughs> i don't know if you guys could tell but they're completely deflated i got them dissolved i got my filler dissolved so it's a little bit weird doing my lips like naturally with no filler because it's been like seven years um anyway this is what this lip stain looks like i think it is gorgeous i love it it is just so pretty and like i feel like in the camera it looks like super super pigmented but when i look at myself in the mirror it looks like a more natural um lip color like a natural yeah like a like a natural lip color you know like your natural lips not like a lipstick color uh, <laughs> that didn't make sense but i really like this color okay let me take it off and let's move on to the next one okay so moving on to the next one which is tinkerbell this is more of like a pinky color from what i can see in the bottle okay so here is this one and let's wait for it to dry a little bit because like initially it looks super glossy and it's not a gloss it's a lip stain um so let me pat it again just to help it along and you don't have to pat it like after you apply it you pretty much start feeling it um to dry like pretty much right away i'm just patting it just to help it along for time's sake you know okay i think that's good yeah it's dry okay so here is the tinkerbell lip stain and i love this one too i'm usually not a fan of pink lipsticks but this is like a really pretty natural pink so yes i love this one too i actually really like both let me know down below which one is your favorite lip stain i don't think i can pick between the two um i really like both i have to say all right so let's move on and the last things that we have are actually the gel eyeliners you guys already saw these um in the waterline during the tutorials but you will get to see them appear with a winged eyeliner so yeah that's these two are the last thing in the collection so i'm gonna leave you with all of those clips so that you guys can see live swatches of the eyeshadow palette the super shock shadow trio and the eyeliners oh and you also get to see the super shock cheek shadows also on the eyes so i'm actually going to show you all of that now and then i'll be back after that to give you my final thoughts
Okay, so I'm back. Those were all of the life swatches that I had for you guys. So I should have shown you eye swatches of the entire palette, the super shock shadows, the gel eyeliners, and the cheek little creams also swatched on the eye so let me know down below what you guys thought about all of the swatches and yeah i pretty much think that is it for this video 
um my final thoughts i love the collection i love that they did include a mirror in the tinkerbell palette as you guys know a lot of color pop eyeshadow palettes do not come with a mirror inside so i do love that this one has a mirror inside but as far as the actual eyeshadow eyeshadows go um the quality was great i actually did not have a hard time blending the very dark matte green one which i thought i was gonna have a hard time with because usually matte greens are really hard to work with but it blended really nicely it wasn't patchy you guys saw the swatches they swatched beautifully um so i feel like the actual eyeshadows performed really well with primer and without primer and the shimmer eyeshadows were also really beautiful really intense um and i don't know if you guys noticed in the swatches i did do a few with the brush and then a few i went over with my finger and that's because i wanted to see the difference of how they would look like applied with both techniques and i do feel that the super shock shadows and the shimmery shadows from the palette are best applied with your finger i just feel like they look a lot more intense than with a brush um but other than that i loved everything i love love the super shock cheeks um thingies that they did i don't even know what to call them um but they are gorgeous and like it's like blush but it gives you like this beautiful glow when you apply the blush so i really enjoyed those super shock cheek little tubs and the highlighter i mean look at this it is so beautiful so intense so shiny i look like a little disco ball and i am here for it um i also loved the super shock shadows i think they're beautiful by themselves but they are also really beautiful applied over a shimmer or over a matte eyeshadow like i did in this particular eyeshadow look so yeah i am overall really happy with everything both gel eyeliners are beautiful they look really pretty like on the waterline and as a winged eyeliner as well and i love the lip stains the lip stains are just really natural but they're not so light and natural that you can't see them i feel like they're just perfect you know they don't look exactly like a super matte lipstick but they also don't look like you're not wearing nothing so i really like that so yeah i don't know as far as the collection i really liked it let me know down below if you guys liked it and yeah thank you guys so so much for being here and watching if you're new here don't forget to subscribe before you go but remember even if you don't i just really appreciate you being here and watching and if you have been here for a while thank you so so much for hanging around supporting me and loving me and watching i love you guys so so much and i appreciate every single one of you and yeah don't forget that you can follow me all over social media it is at glitter beauties the same way that it's spelled right there and yeah thank you guys again <laughs> so much for watching and i hope to see you on the next one